Hey guys, LQ here with the LQ Review, and I'm here with another movie review. And this is a movie review I was a little late to the party on, a review of Anna and the Apocalypse. Yes, this movie came out around Christmas time. It is a Christmas-themed movie. Kind of. It's a zombie apocalypse musical set during Christmas. A zombie apocalypse comedy musical set during Christmas. So very much in the vein of like Shaun of the Dead, that type of comedy, kind of a dark comedy, um, but uh, definitely, definitely has all the components of a good musical too. So this is about Anna, who is graduating high school and is getting ready to go into college, but she decides she's going to take a year off. She's going to take a year off and go travel the world, much to the, to the disdain of her father, and she wants to see the world. She wants to experience the world and experience life. She's not happy with her life at the moment. And um, that's when the zombie apocalypse hits. She uh, works at a bowling alley. She has a best friend named John who, um, who loves her. But it's very much an unrequited love. She doesn't feel the same way. She has an ex-boyfriend named Nick who she still has feelings for. He still has feelings for her. But she's not sure about him because he's very um, overtly macho. Um, so she is getting ready to kind of reset her life on this with this trip. And that's when the zombie apocalypse hits and it puts everything into perspective. So so we're going to talk about what's good, we're going to talk about what's bad, and then we're going to give the rating. My ratings are always one of three ratings. Happy face emoji means that I like it. Sad face emoji means that I don't like it. And the meh emoji means that it was okay. So let's talk about the good, the good first. Ella Hunt is Anna is great. She, I've never seen her in anything before. At least I don't think that I have. And I bought every moment that she was on the screen. Um, she has a certain sweetness to her. Uh, you tell she's a nice person and she's a sweet person and she's, you know, she's cute as a button. But when it gets to the physicality part of it, she also sells that too. She's got some great physicality, some great athletics. Um, you know, she's definitely an athlete. And in the moments in the movie where she has to be physical and, and, and go through these fight scenes, she sells that too. So, very endearing character, given the fact that she's very sweet, great singer, just a really good singer, but has that physicality that you want from your lead in a zombie movie. Um, really, really liked Ella Hunt as Anna. And actually, during a portion of the movie, I, I was like, well, she's not really the lead. This is more of an ensemble. As we got deeper into the movie, though, it was clear she was the lead, and it was it really the more we time we spent with with Anna, the the more we liked her, and the more we became endeared to her. Um, Malcolm Cumming is John, her best friend. Again, he's in love with her, but she doesn't feel the same way. Um, so it's very much this un unrequited love, and unrequited loves in, in horror movies always, you know, go down one path and one path only. Um, but he was very funny, another good singer. I like the fact that he was in the light-up Christmas sweater the whole movie. Uh, very, very good, very interesting character, very complex character. There was quite a few complex characters in this movie. Um, but John is her best friend. He was with her most of the way. Um, really well done. Ben Wiggins as Nick was another character that I really liked a lot. Um, he was probably the most complex character in the movie, but he was also my favorite character in the movie. So this is somebody who has a very dark history and that dark history really comes to the forefront during the zombie apocalypse. He's able to really take his experiences that he's had in his past and apply them in the zombie apocalypse. It, I mean, this is kind of, this has kind of become Nick's opportunity to shine it is, is the zombie apocalypse has given him an opportunity to shine and be the person that he feels he was always meant to be. Um, so very interesting character. Also another very good singer. They got a lot of good singers in this movie. But he had the best musical number of the movie, in my opinion. Um, and we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Speaking of the music, the music was fantastic. You know, there were some funny songs, but there were also some very serious songs. And some songs that had a lot of layered meaning as we got into the movie. Um, Break Away was definitely a good song. But let's talk about a couple, a couple specific ones here. Uh, Hollywood Ending was a very interesting song. As we got into the movie... So this is a song about how we're not going to get our Hollywood ending. And it's sung... You know, portions of the song are sung throughout the movie. And it starts out 
singing Hollywood ending in terms of relationships. We're not going to get our Hollywood ending as far as our relationships are concerned or as far as our dreams or aspirations are concerned. You know, these are teenagers who have dreams and aspirations, things that they want to become, things that they want to do. And they're starting to realize as they're taking that step into adulthood that, you know, we're not going to get our Hollywood ending. It's not going to work out for us. And then as we get into the movie and the movie becomes very self-referential, it becomes clear that they're not they are in a movie and they're not going to get the Hollywood ending. They're not going to get the happy ending um, that, you know, that, that, that a lot of characters get in movies. Um, you know, it, it never like breaks the fourth wall. Like they never really become aware that they're in a movie, but as an audience, we're very aware that this is very self-referential. And when they're singing a Hollywood ending later in the movie, it's becoming very clear that they're not singing about dreams and aspirations and relationships. They're actually singing about the fact that this movie is not going to end the way that we want it to. We're not going to get a Hollywood ending with this one. So that was all very good. Um, Turning My Life Around was another g- great song. This was the, the one of the most comedic moments of the movie. When she wakes up the morning of the zombie apocalypse, she's completely clueless. She puts on her headphones and decides that now she's going to turn her life around and she's going to get that Hollywood ending and she starts singing down the street and dancing down the street while she's you know while she's completely oblivious to the fact that behind her there's people running out of houses there's people getting eaten on the ground there's explosions there's cars crashing there's zombies running around she's completely oblivious to what's happening because she's got her headphones in and she's just singing about her Hollywood uh, singing about turning her life around so the great comedic comedic song a a moment in the movie um speaking of self-referential this movie has a lot of commentary on technology there's one guy who's so so attached to his phone that he he risked his life to 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 save his phone several times and he even you know talks about how you know this has his life in it this phone has his life in it it's got his pictures it's got his it's got everything that he his videos everything that he loves is in this phone um so a lot of commentary on, on our relationship with te- technology. And there's even a portion in the movie where the zombies are hypnotized by, um, by the TV. Um, and then they turn the TV off and the zombies go all crazy and get violent again. Get violent again. Definitely a lot of commentary on technology in this. My favorite song was Soldier at War, though. It's Nick's song. And again, it, it kind of talks about his darker past and how he has been made for this. Soldier at War is very comedic, very, very entertaining, a little bit sad, but he is the character who picks up that baseball bat and says, all right, we're in the zombie apocalypse. This is what I'm meant to do. Let's go to work. And it was a lot of, it was a lot of fun. I really like Soldier at War. I think a lot of people, a lot of people are going to like turning my life around the most because it's very comedic. But for me, Soldier at War was the best song. Um, I really liked it a lot. Uh, let's talk about some of the bad. I didn't like the vice principal character. It was like the, the the writers felt, well, we need a big bad. We need a big heavy in this movie. The zombies aren't going to be the big heavy. So who's the big heavy going to be? Let's make it the vice principal. Because all kids hate their principals. So it, it felt very cartoony. It ve- felt very mad scientist-y. And I just didn't really care for the fact that that they went in that direction and made the vice principal this evil character who, who wanted, you know, wanted everybody dead. Um, didn't care for that at all. You, you know, I, as somebody who's worked in education and works with kids, you know, their priority is going to be saving the kids, not, not making sure the kids get eaten, you know, 99.9% of them. So it felt very cliche to me. Well, kids hate their principals. So let's make the principal the bad guy. Didn't care for it. Didn't care for it. Um, and speaking of that, there's a lot, of, there's a lot of zombie cliches in this movie. Um, as we got into the movie, we learned that the kids they know who they know what zombies are. They've seen zombie movies, so they know the rules of zombie movies. Yet the movie follows all the rules of zombie movies. If you get bit, you turned. If you sh- hit him in the head, the zombies die. It followed all the rules to a T. And when you have a movie where the kids are familiar with zombies, they even call them zombies. When the kids are familiar with zombies and they know the zombie rules and they know the zombie tropes, I would have liked to have seen the rules get played with a little bit. Turn the rules on their heads. Um, switch things up a little bit. And that didn't really happen. Zombie rules stayed intact throughout the course of this movie. I would have just liked to have seen that been a little different. I would like to, to, to give them the opportunity to play with that a little bit. And that didn't really happen. Um, and speaking of zombie tropes and zombie rules, there were a lot of characters in this movie I was really rooting for. I was really rooting for them. Um, 
But like every zombie movie ever made in the history of zombie movies, don't get too attached to any of them. That's that's the reality of this movie. And that was a little a little it bummed me out a little bit that the body count was so high in this movie because there were so many of the the kids that were likable and so many of the kids that I was rooting for. And I'd just like to have seen a little higher of a survival rate. Um, I understand that that's kind of par for the course in zombie movies, but again, I'd like to have seen that played up a little bit and seen those tropes kind of turn on their head a little bit. And we didn't get that very high body count, despite the fact that a lot of these kids were very, very likable. So, um, so, so, so yeah, it, it was very cliche and very by the books as far as a lot of that was concerned. But overall, I really like this movie a lot. This is definitely a smiley face movie. This was a movie that was completely under my radar. And I, the more I heard people talk about it, the more I was like, I got to check it out. And here it is, March. And it came out at Christmas time. And I just now got around to it. But I'm glad I did. If you like zombie movies, you're going to love this. I think that if you like musicals and you can handle some blood and some gore, you're going to like this too. Because this has a, this movie has a lot to say as far as social commentary and as far as uh, um, the state of growing up is concerned today. So all that was great. Um, I would just like to have seen them try some different things with the whole zombie formula. That's all. Definitely a good movie though. Uh, have you seen it? Let me know in the comments down below what you thought. If you've seen And the Apocalypse... Um, Subscribe to my channel. You can find me at the LQ Review on Facebook. And as always, thank you for being here, where we talk about all the nerdy, geeky stuff that we love to talk about. And until next time, thanks a lot.